bless each and every one of us in the name of our Lord Yeshua Mashiach. Amen. 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 It is uh, another opportunity for us to be here so that we can talk about uh, who actually is uh, worshipped in the world according to the Bible. So, for this one, I know we are getting into a, a field where Satan himself has to be unveiled. He has to be discovered by the children of God. You know, when you discover the truth, when you discover something that was hidden, even the power of that thing that was hidden is paralyzed. Because it's discovered. Now, anyone who discovered those, those things, if they are of God, the things that were hidden, you rejoice. God rejoices as well. But if you discover the secrets of Satan and what they do, they get upset. They start fighting you. So, it, you can see God has got mysteries and want us to discover them. Satan has got mysteries which he does not want to be discovered. Because the moment you discover it, the power of those things disappears. That's why you see people who go to witchcraft and do things. When they are doing those witchcraft, you must not, they say, he must not see, she must not see. Because the day they see it, it's finished. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. May our bless bless each and every one of you again. Amen. We are talking about idolatry. Idolatry, based on what we saw since last Friday, is exactly what you do for God. But now you replace that God with and no God. Something, someone, or whatever it is, which takes the place of God. We call it idolatry because the one you are worshipping, the one you are giving honor is not God. So idolatry and the true worshipping, they are parallel. They are the same. You pray, you pray. You bow down, you bow down. You speak, you speak. But the only thing is that you are not addressing those things to the same person. When you are addressing it to God, that is the worshipping that the Lord is looking for, the Lord, the worshipping in the truth. But when you do a worshipping addressing to a man, a woman, a father, a mother, your wife, your, your money, your that, a wood or gold or whatever, that one becomes a idolatry. And from the beginning, God has always been against anyone taking his glory to give to anybody else. And that anybody else includes men and women, planets, uh, the creations of God, the sun, the moon, the, the stars. It includes the animals. Among the animals we have cows. Because today we have people who are worshipping cows. We have fish. That's what we are going to see as we are going to analyze the, the <coughs> two scriptures we read last Friday. You see what it is. So, Satan who is behind idolatry manufactured it the way he saw it happening in heaven. Why? Because his intention was to be like God. Whatever God is doing, he wanted to do the same thing and get the honor which is deserved only to be given to God. He wanted that honor. Then, the scripture said, as we read last time, let's go back there in the book of Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 14. We are going to start reading 
We are going to analyze it piece by piece, this scripture. Then you know where idolatry is coming from. This one is happening, brother, what we are reading here, the information of Isaiah chapter 14, is something that is beyond, before, even when Adam and uh, the, 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 what do you call it? Um, the story we have there in Genesis chapter 3, chapter 2. Because this one here is what happened there for him to be thrown down, to find himself in the garden of Eden. This is what came before Satan was thrown down. What is it? Isaiah saw him and said, verse 12, how you, uh, how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. So those things we have uh, already discussed. Uh, okay, we have already written, but let's go fast. How you are cut down to the ground. You who weakened the nation. I don't I want to know what is that the last sentence of verse 12 says what? You have been cast down to the earth. Yes. You who once laid low the nations. Lay low the nations. Yours says what? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Yours? Yeah. How you have been cast down to the ground. Yes. You with you who weakened and laid low the nations. <coughs> Weaken and lay low the nations. Can you see here that the nations are in the power of Satan? Not to make the nation strong. Because the nation becomes strong in God. But once the nations abandon God, when a family abandons God, everybody becomes weakened. Mark it. We are going to get back to it very soon. Verse 13. Because you have said in your heart, and now this is where we are interested in. I'm going to make sure that we get all these things done properly. Uh, Isaiah chapter 14, and this, this is Lucifer. Who is at the same time a morning star and what else? It was written what? Christ, morning star. Son of the dawn. Son of, son of the morning. All right. So now, what is is he doing? This is actually what we are going to see. Is a principle. I'm going to put it in black. Weakening nations. Don't forget this. This is what he has to do. He cannot do better than this. So if you want to weaken a family, he will come in the family with the things which are not supposed to to be uh, done in the family. That's why you will see that when we talk about Satan and uh, idolatry in the Bible, we will see everyone who has already been weakened. It means you come out from the side of the strength which is godly, you embrace the side where Satan becomes God. Now, Shalom, bro. Shalom. You have come with the thing. I think now you can just leave. You can collect them on Monday. So I will, uh, I will stamp it after. Yes, just leave. It. No, that was it. one. It's okay. Now, in weakening the nation. Now, look here very well. We are going to put it in the right because these are now his missions. Someone read. 
he was saying in his heart what? Yes? Anyone who read? This is what you were saying in your heart. Verse 13. Yes. And you said in your heart, uh -huh. I will ascend to heaven. Wait a minute. His mission, listen carefully, he does not want to be on earth. Even if he's on earth, he still wants to become great. I will ascend to heaven. Continue. I will exalt my throne above. I the will exalt all this we have seen already. Exalt my throne. We saw that when he came on earth, he had a throne. Yes. It means his throne on earth will be more valued. Today we see how Vatican is more valued than any other city in the world when it comes to worshiping. Or religion, wrong or right? I will make sure that my throne in the world is considered above the stars. Repeat the reading. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Yes, we saw it last Friday. I will sit upon the mountain of assembly. Uh oh, in the outermost north. Repeat, I will sit. I will sit upon the mount of assembly. Can you see that he will be on earth but great? Yes. He will be here on earth but elevated. We are talking here about Satan's mission. Wait a minute. Listen carefully. Satan's mission in the world on earth. So it will make the earth looks like a congregation. And now the whole earth will be looking at him sitting on the north. Right? Are we together? Yes. <clears throat> He's making the whole world a worshipping place. The way God has made the heavens a worshipping place. Because everyone in heaven worship God. Satan on earth as well wants to make sure that everywhere the human beings are must worship him. Continue reading. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Wow. I will make myself like the most high. Make myself like the most high. Okay. Let's analyze here with this way we are. Satan, in his intentions, wants to be like. He is not. But he wants to be like him. When I say you look like a man, are you a, are you a man? You're not a man, but you look like him. It means you have got some resemblance. He wants to be like Elohim. But now, we were created in the image of God. Him wants to look like God. We, we don't want to look like God. We already look like God through our creation. Am I correct? Yes. Am I correct? Yes. But now this one wants to make. Wait a minute. Look here. You make yourself look like. What do you think? I have to do. If I want to look like Brother Abanus. Thanks for coming back for after a very long time. Wait a minute. What do you think I have to do to look like Brother Abanus? Or oh, if I'm a man, I want to. Uh, travel because of security, I look like a woman. What do I do? Huh? I dress like a woman. Continue. Behave like a woman. I behave like a woman. Continue. I remove and make myself very smooth like a woman. I walk like a woman. Talk like a woman. I even put, I, I add a few things on me. So that I, I appear like a woman, right? 
Am I right? Yes. Satan will do everything. Listen to me. To make himself look like the real God. And this one, it will be in the people of the earth mind. It means when you are in your religion, you will truly believe. He will make sure he succeeds to make you believe it's the real God. Are we together? That's why when you find staunch this, staunch that one, they are really convinced that they are in the right place. Even if you show them the Bible, they say, ah, I will die here. Am I correct? These are the people who have been seduced. There's one thing I want you to know. When Satan wants to bring his life, boom, you may discover and reject. What he does is this. He seduces you first. You know when you want uh, you, what we see in the world here, you want a woman. You'll not just come and tell you, oh, I want this. No, 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 you don't go that way. You come, you want to get her attention first. You want to start doing good things and there is a pretending as if you are not concerned. When you are now seduced, now at that time, he can pass now his doctrine. In the religion of Nimrod, Nimrod, sorry, sorry, of, of Jezebel, Jezebel will come, the Bible calls her what? What does the Bible call Jezebel in the Revelation? A prophetess. So, look here. For her to get you, she comes first of all with a prophecy. Oh, the Lord is showing me that there's a brother coming in the church now. And when you open your eyes, you see, you see brothers coming in. Then you say, wow, well, this woman is a woman of God. Because you see what she's telling is the reality. Are you getting me? So I, for me to get your attention, I start by producing a, a prophecy. And when you see, yes, the prophecy is true. That Deuteronomy chapter 13 says, if a, a dreamer or a prophet rises among you and tells you a prophecy or a sign, and that comes to pass, what happens when someone gives you a prophecy and that prophecy comes to pass? You start trusting him. You open up to him. Am I correct? Yes. Then the Bible says, after the prophecy <coughs> has been fulfilled, then after he tells you, let's go and worship other gods. You see here, the prophecy is used like a, a trap. Am I correct? Yes. I want you to get me, brothers. So, they come with a prophecy or a dream. Oh, brother, the Lord showed me this. And it's come to pass. Or oh, maybe uh, sister or brother or whatever. It is what happened. Now, when you will be seduced by the prophecy, you are not ready to be injected uh, the vaccine. <laughs> the doctrine comes after. The same way with the Satan. He must make sure he seduces the world. He must make sure he weakens you first. Have you ever seen a woman when she becomes weak, being seduced? She can give anything. Wrong or right? A man can give anything. Because of what? It's the result of what? Seduction. Now, he has got the power. This Lucifer, listen to me carefully. This Lucifer, the son of the morning, the morning star. This guy wants to make himself look like the most high. We worship God in heaven here. What is the, what is the people in heaven doing? And if he wants to be like God, he comes here on earth. He must be what? Worship. Now, in the whole world, Satan, being very smart, look at the way he will make himself to be worshipped. So here, first of all, he will get a throne. He will get a place. He will get a congregation. Did you read congregation? Let's go back there and read again. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Yes. I will make myself... The height of the clouds. clouds. Yes. Yet you shall, brought, you shall be brought down. No, 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 no. Repeat verse 13. 
and you shall say in your heart, mm. I will ascend to heaven. Mm. I will exalt my throne mm. above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of assembly. The mount of the assembly or the congregation. The whole world, the whole earth will be in his sight as his congregation. Are you hearing me? Yeah. So now in that congregation, he will be on the higher side. So that everyone focus on him. Wherever you are in the world, whether you are in Africa, in Europe, in America, in uh, whatever place, you see him. Wait a minute. Between the earth and the heaven, where is Satan? On the mountain of the congregation. Am I right? Yes. Have you ever heard about the powers of the air? Yes. Do you remember when uh, Elohim gave the answer to, <coughs> to Daniel? And somewhere here, the, the, the the answer was uh, blocked. We are going there. All right. So continue. Yet you shall be brought down. Oh, okay, fine. So this is his intention to make himself God. He will be brought down. That is the final stage. Now. Let's continue reading here. You will be brought down. You, will be, you shall be brought no, down. No, no, no. That is verse uh, 15. 15. Yes. You shall be brought down to Sheol, to the lowest uh, depth of uh, the pits. Continue. You shall be brought down to the Sheol, to the innermost recess of the pit, the region of the dead. Mm. Those, who, those who see you will gaze at you and consider you, saying, Is this the man who makes the earth tremble? Wait a minute. You see how powerful is this guy? Yes. He makes the whole world tremble. Continue. Who shook kingdoms? Wait a minute. Can you see one of his attributions? Huh? Yes. Now, do you understand why Yeshua, when he was tempted by Satan, Satan told him what about the kingdoms? Yes? All the kingdoms of the world belongs to me. Amen. Amen. That's why they trembled. He owned them. He has them. And when we talk about the kingdoms, we talk actually about what? When we talk about the kingdoms belonging to him and he shakes them, we are talking about what actually? Yes? Political the political system. Kingdoms are ruled by the politics of the country. Do you see now that politics is owned by an, an, an individual? Satan. Now, when we talk about we here being like, like, there is no religion of the state. Oh, in some places we have the religion of the state. You are in that country, everyone in that country must be in that religion. You are not, they kill you. Am I right? Yes. Now, this is now what you're going to have the two horns. The political system plus the religious system. These two horns, the Bible calls them horns, belong to a system which is controlled by Lucifer, Satan. But we are going to the side of Worshipping. Listen carefully. Those who look at you, we have verse 16. Uh, we say, Is this the man who made the earth tremble? Who shook the kingdom? Continue. Who made the world like a wilderness? He made the world be like what? Wilderness. Wilderness. Brother, wilderness means what? 
This is where I want us to study so that we know. He makes the world be like what? Wilderness. wilderness. It is not wilderness. It is not supposed to be wilderness. But wilderness means what? Wilderness. When you talk, you, they tell you wilderness. What comes in your mind? Wilderness means desert. Yes, but what comes in your mind? No water. Right? No. Dust. No life. No tree. No vegetation. Right? Yes. Do you survive in the wilderness? No. <laughs> so it means he will make he makes the earth looks a world without life. That's why you see all the churches here, eco to kelele noise. There is no life because the moment life comes in the church, boom, people with Satan himself they must go. They hate life. That's why Jesus was telling them. If you want life, why don't you come to me and drink? Amen. No, we don't want. They pack their things, they go. He said, here is the bread of life. Anyone who's thirst, come unto me. Did they come? Why? Because they love wilderness. And why do they love wilderness? They are controlled by Lucifer. Say amen. Amen. Let's finish the reading. Who made the world like wilderness and overthrew its cities? And destroyed its cities. Brother, brother, listen to be careful. What was the reason of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah? Talk to me. Huh? Yes? Stand up, I want to hear you. Sin, homosexuality. Homosexuality. Did God make homosexuality? Did God create homosexuality? He did not. So he created what? Men and women to marry, right? Satan says, that way I don't like it. Because he must oppose. He must make people weak. He must destroy the family. He is against reproduction. He is against natural systems. He brings in, look here bro, he brings in the place a wrong way of doing things. And the wrong way of doing things destroys the city. We talk about marriage. Him, he loves adultery. How can someone feel good to enjoy somebody else's wife? How? And now, when someone is doing that, what does the Bible say? When you you, you go and sin in, in, in adultery. What are their replications? Or what is it actually in the reality? Death. 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 Listen to me. Death. And Satan knows that God's principle is true. Now, for it to come a reality, because Satan cannot change it. He wants to destroy people. He will bring things in the city that will upset God. And God's natural principle says, death and death comes. That's right, brother. Every time you feel you are pushed to something which is wrong. If you are not sure, my phone is not off. Call. You can always be guided. Because Satan is very tricky. I can tell you. Brother Branham says, if you get a revelation, or if you get you get to feel like you've gotten some understanding, he said, 
before you move on to what you think is a revelation, consult your pastor first. Amen. He says, he sees better than you. Amen. He understands better than you. Amen. Like I was told, telling, I don't know, the brother, he said, he said, no, brother, <coughs> no, it's a brother in Rwanda. No, in Kampala. But it's a Rwandese. He came giving me a scripture. I told him, do you think that scripture I've not read it? <coughs> do you really think that? That scripture, I don't know it. No, 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 no. I put the scripture <coughs> in the context. He kept quiet. I said, but talk again. I was listening to you. Talk again. Oh, but let me study again. I'll get back to you. <laughs> so, you did not study it. You only read it. Then you thought you understood. You came out. Brother, I have got to this. Brother Branham was right. Consult your pastor. Amen. Let him tell you, yeah, this one is right. He will show you other scriptures to vindicate what you have understood. If it's true. Amen. If your understanding of the scripture is wrong, he will also tell you. Amen. That's what killed our former brother, Yedi Katembo. He took marriage and divorce. He read. Oh, I see here that Jacob married Leah and then married also Rachel. So he married two sisters of the same parent. Ah! <laughs> Revelation! <laughs> Is that the revelation? <laughs> Always consult. So Satan to lead the world. Look at the strategy. He will seduce you first. Brother, he has never stopped that strategy. What happened to our mother Eve? Before eating, what happened? Seduced. Many will come in my name. They will do what? Satan, when he comes, he comes with a seduction. He comes with a prophecy. He comes and tells you, my friend, at home there is someone who is looking for you. And he says, when you come, you will see a red thing in front of your door. Brother, like a joke. You also go home. You find there is red things in the house. Will you? This, a person like that, will you trust him or not? Yeah. Automatically you trust him. The moment you trust him, you have opened up the door to see to believe anything. Is that correct? Yes. Satan, as we are seeing here in the program that God is revealing here, is it? Let's read verse. Uh, uh, mm hmm. Let's go down to verse 18. All the kings of the nations, all of them lie sleeping in glorious array, each one in his own sepulia. Which Bible version is that one? It's now getting very difficult words there. Uh, amplified. Amplified. Uh, let's find out that. The kings of the nations. Yes. Lie in stately glory in their graves. Mm -hmm. But your body is thrown out like a broken plant. Okay, let's stop there. This one we stop here. Let's go and take now Ezekiel. We are going to take now Ezekiel chapter 28. Are we together? Yes. You see how Satan destroys the city? Yes. Huh? Yes. How, how is he doing? He, he, he knows the laws of God. He uses the laws of God against the people who believe him. I don't know if you are getting this. Yes. Check in the Bible. And the sons of God 
so that the daughters of men were beautiful. They took some they could choose there. Are you with me? Yes. Immediately what happened? After that, the Bible said, and Elohim was upset. He said, I will wipe out the man from the surface of the earth. Who was behind it? Isaiah says, Satan. Say amen. Amen. Why is that men today are not able to stay the way they are until marriage? Women to stay the way they are until marriage. What happens there? Satan has come in. Are you with me? Yes. I want you to get this, eh? And I'm going to show you in connection with the, this one, weakening the nation, making himself like God. When he says, let's let's see together. He wants to be like God means what? To be worshipped. Have that in mind, that? Eh? Okay. This is the reason why. He wants to be like God. Now, Ezekiel 28 will go now into some other more detailed uh, description of this, this guy. Yes, uh, brother, with your Bible there, I want you to read, then uh, another brother will take after. From verse 11, it says what? We are going to go from 11 to 19. Then this father message came to me from the Lord. Son of dust, weep for the king of time. Mm. Tell him the Lord God says, mm. you have the perfection of wisdom and beauty. Now, wait a minute. Look at it. So here, we have finished Isaiah chapter 14. Okay? Yeah. We want to add to this description... Uh, Jeremiah 28, all right? Exactly. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 28. What's the first thing they said? What? You have the perfection of wisdom and beauty. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> perfection of what? Wisdom and beauty. Wisdom and beauty. And uh, beauty. Right, that? Eh? Yes. yes. Wait a minute. How do you feel when you are talking to someone? You feel the knowledge. <laughs> You're talking to someone. Like when we were doing, um, I don't know, some subject we take in life. Huh? Like now, I'm, I'm having intention. To study, if I can, criminology. I really want to study that. And why do I want to study that? It's because it, it, it can help you to understand a few characters. <laughs> it's not the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Those are the things of this world. But I just feel like understanding. I want to do that and I want to do psychology. Those two things. If he really wants. And if he finds it necessary. But now, when I was at university, you see a professor coming in there. He takes a piece of chalk. He starts telling you things in his field. Brother, you look at this man with admiration. Yeah. Wrong or right? Right. Wrong or right? Right. And this knowledge he's giving is not the knowledge from God. Am I correct? Yes. Is the knowledge of this world. Am I right? Yes. Now the climax of the knowledge of this world. The wisdom of Satan. In this wisdom he got it from heaven. Um. Ah! That's why the Bible says he seduces the world. 
it's like you know you you are okay never mind <laughs> the wisdom and then on top of this wisdom sometimes you look at some people man you look at them and say what which beauty is this a beauty that is hurting you <laughs> A beauty, but you are hurting until you feel like looking twice, three times, even more. Remember, right? Yes. With one intention to seduce. But when you compare this beauty of the Son of the Morning, Lucifer, and the beauty of Jesus in Isaiah chapter 54, let's go there quickly and see. 53, sorry. Isaiah 53. <laughs> Let's read verse 2. It says what? Yes, uh, brother Ivans. 53 verse 3. Verse 2 says what? He grew up he grew before, him before him like a tender shoot. Yes, and like a root out of dry ground. Yes. He had no. Wait a minute. Lucifer was thrown down. Yeshua was born from down. Are you saying this? Yes. Both of them came in this world. One was thrown. He came here the way he was in heaven. But the other one came and he was born. Wait a minute. Who is us? Lucifer or Yeshua? Yeshua is a man like us. Yes. Lucifer is weakening us. But both of them are on earth. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Yeshua said, wherever two or three are there, where am I? Yes. I'm there in their midst. Say amen. 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 Continue. He had no beauty. He had beauty. no beauty. Brother, look here. Can you see that Yeshua is exactly the opposite of Lucifer? Yes. That's why when you tell people the truth, they look at you and say, What? So you, you are believing in things like that? Yes. Hey, hey. <laughs> they even, they, look, 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 listen to this man. What is he saying? Or oh, this woman. So you, you believe that? It's ugly, the truth. Yes. They would even think that you are now going to a, a cult. Yes. Robert, yes. <laughs> the truth is ugly. Yes. Brother, look at me here. Ugly. Then for you to fall in love with the truth, you must discover beyond that no beauty, the beauty of the revelation. Amen. <laughs> The beauty of the revelation, which is unfortunately not given to everybody. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says, in a family, I can only take one. Only one gets the light. The rest of the family gang up against him. Is that true? Yes! The beauty of the revelation. Why? Because Elohim loves hiding himself. Wow. For you to acknowledge him, you must be pumped up with revelation. Amen. You look at him and say, no, what I see here is not him. This is the son of God. Amen. But he appears like this. Mm, you are the son of the most high. Yeshua said to Peter, ah, for you to, this, to know me this way, my father has surely revealed it to you. Amen. That's what we talk about, the beauty of the revelation. Amen. But if you want to go to Satan, he shows you the beauty immediately. Pop, up, you are seduced. How do you think I said, my friend? If you worship me, I give you the money. Hey, is not what Satan was telling Jesus? Yes. He does not give eternal life. He gives the things of this world. He says, they belong to me. Jesus, just bow down. 
Don't you know that um, I wanted to be like God, now I'm like him. Jesus, bow down to me. Do you see that he was revealing his intention? Yes. Yeah. He's asking Jesus to do what? And Jesus, did he fail or did he uh, succeed? He succeeded to what? To rebuke him. How many in this world will succeed? I can tell you. 0 0.0000000000 asleep. Wake up. 0 0 0 0 0 0 asleep. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 will resist this guy. He will be in Kenya, worshipped, but he will be worshipped in another place. The same one, but in a different language. Look at the strategy, brother. I want you to get... This is what will show you idolatry. The master planner behind the scene is one guy. Lucifer. Now, he had no beauty. Yes, you are reading, bro. Repeat verse 2, bro. He grew up before him like a tender shoot. Yes. And like a root out of dry ground. Yes. He had no beauty or majesty ah, to attract yeah, yeah, us yeah, to yeah. him. Wait a minute. Your says what? That last part. Mm -hmm. Yes, or you, bro? The last part. That we should look at him and no beauty that we should desire him. Hey, hey. You says what, Brother Petro? Yeah, he says nothing we could see mm. that would cause us to like him. Ah, 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 ah. You says what? There was nothing attractive about him. Nothing attractive. Brother, you have a woman who's like that. <laughs> Just an example. Huh? You look at her, not you. <laughs> <laughs> You look at it, no attraction, no beauty, nothing. Will you even go there? <laughs> Will you go? Answer me, you are men. <laughs> and Yeshua was like that. You see, it takes a, a lot of uh, revelation to follow him. Eh? No wonder the world does not like people like Yeshua. Ataribu Biashan. We are putting women you are attractive, mini short, and you are to attract the people for the business. You you come here, you come with a lady here, first of all, ugly, dressing with long robes going there, as this old all, all the fashion. Ah, That's what they will tell you. In Rwanda there was a sister who lost the job that way because they told her. You must come here, put things, makeups, and hair ring, and put a, a mini skirt here because you're beautiful to attract the people, serve the people here. He said, If this is the condition, I desire. She lost the job. Character. Say amen. Amen. Let's go back. Yeshua, the opposite of this. Yes, Ezekiel. Who was reading? Yes. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Uh, you see, when he was rejected from God, where, where did he go? In Eden. 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 Continue. Your clothing was bedeweled with every precious stone. Wow, 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 wow. Remember here, you who want to do the business of precious stones, listen to me. God created them, all right? Yes. Someone is now doing the ashara with them. Brother, continue reading. Your clothing was bedeweled with every precious stone. Your what? Your clothing. Mm -hmm. Continue. Your clothing was bedeweled with every precious stone. Mm -hmm. Rabbi, topaz, diamond, what? chrysolite, onyx, jasper, sapphire, and emerald. And now, the things of Congo, of this one, they are dirty in Nairobi. The business of uh, these things here from East Africa. 
<laughs> you go even in Somalia or South Sudan, Congo. These things, yeah, they deal with them here in Nairobi. Nairobi, Nairobi. <laughs> That's why Nairobi. No, I don't want to say that. What? <laughs> Nairobi. <laughs> Continue. They were given to you the day you were created. Say amen. Amen. Continue. And he appointed you to be the immediate guardian angel. Wow, 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 wow. Continue. You had access to the only mountain of God. Uh -huh. Huh? Brothers, was he getting also access to the mountain of God in heaven? Yes. yes. Let me give a scenario, for instance. Yahweh is talking to people in heaven, his angels standing from this side of the mountain. Satan can also come. He also says something. You see that on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you see when you, you have uh, things here in Kenya, official meetings, the president is there, they call you to come there also to talk. You think uh, anyone can just go and talk there? No, no. Friend, those are selected people, selected a few. Satan could also access that mountain. He could talk. He could be listened. He had a big influence in heaven. Yes, yeah. amen. amen. It's written here. Yeah. Yes. That's why he will succeed to rebel. A third of the angels in heaven. They said to God, no, you, you are bad. They said, no, we are not following you. We follow Lucifer. They come. Look, so, a being like that. Lucifer. Now, to us, to stop to be worshipped. Huh? I know. He loves also tithe and offerings. <laughs> I'm not telling you the right thing. It's true. Yes. Continue. You walked among the stones of fire. <clears throat> you were perfect in all you did from the day you were created until that time when Rome was found in you. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was a form found, sorry, in you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's scrutinize a little bit here. From the creation of Lucifer until this moment, iniquity was found in him. Who can tell me what is that iniquity that was found in him? Huh? He said, no, I cannot be number two in heaven. I must be number one. Do you know that the heavenly Jerusalem is our mother? Yes. yes. Do you know that Elohim is our father? Yes. Am I correct? Yes. So him becoming the father in heaven, he wanted to do what? Taking somebody else's he was thrown down. Brother is laughing. <laughs> and Brother Branham says, the guy we must take on the loop to check him properly is the brother in the church who is coming next to our wives. That's the guy you should watch. Amen. Say amen. 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 is the reason why every time a brother in the church brings in a false doctrine in the church brother that's the most grievous things compared to a misconduct or misbehavior of a brother or sister in the church that's what can be fixed but bringing another doctrine in the 
church is making the church commit idol because you're bringing another seed into the wave of Christ. Say amen. amen. I, I, I watched the teaching that occurred on, on Sunday. Here, I was like, like in tears. said, what? This occurred when I was away. And I could hear brother saying, amen, amen, in the church. So, when Lucifer wanted to be the one in heaven, he wanted to have the heavenly Jerusalem to be his wife. What happened? Elohim has communi uh, communicated him. Together with his congregation, they came down. Right, right. right. Now check properly what happens here. The intention of what we say here that was in his heart, the exaltation, becoming great, is revealed by Isaiah chapter 14. So, no, if you have to put one chapter here, you will say, let's read it again. You say here, iniquity, no, you were perfect in your ways until, uh, from the day you were created, till iniquity was find, found, sorry, in you, then you take Isaiah chapter 14, you put it. Because you were saying into your heart, I will ascend there and I will be like a God. Then that's what brought him down. Actually, he wanted the heaven to worship him. Why was Satan kicked down? He wanted to worship. He wanted to commit adultery. That's why any spiritual sexual immorality is linked directly to Satan. Yes. What I have against you is because you have allowed that woman, Jezebel, who calls herself prophetess. To do what? To teach and to seduce my servant so that they can eat food sacrifice to who? Idols comes there. To who? You actually you say food sacrifice to Lucifer. Satan. Is that clear? Yes. Now check. <clears throat> Let's continue reading. You are great wealth filled you with eternal turmoil and you sin. Sorry? You are great wealth. Your great wealth. Wait a minute. Apart from being perfect in wisdom and beauty, he's got what? Mali. Name. Whatever makes a man well, Satan has wealth. I want to read in every Bible what it says here. Beginning of verse 16. Brother, yours says what? 16? Your business brought you many oh, riches. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, in this one here, we talk about business. business. Yours says what? Through the abundance of your commands. Abundance of your commerce. <laughs> of commerce. <laughs> commerce. Do we have this thing in Kenya? Commerce. Yes. Do we have a bank in Kenya with this one? Yes. 
Huh? I did not say you say it. I only say, do we have it? Yes or no? Yes. So abundance of your commerce. Yours says what? Well. Well. Yours? Busy buying and selling. Oh! Ah! Busy! <laughs> buying and selling. Selling. Yours says what? It's the same like Brother Daniel. Widespread trade. Trade! Ah. Trade. We have also the Ministry of Trade, isn't it? Yes, yes. All over the world? Yes. Okay. Look here. Answer me. When you look at the wealth of the country, the business of the country, the abundance of the commerce of the country, the uh, buying and selling of the country, or the trade of the country. What are we talking about here? Huh? No. What are we talking about here? This talks about one thing. Money. Sorry? Money. Money, yes, but in the, in the country you call it what? Economy. Economy. Uh, Satan is the big economist. <laughs> you can have a thing. <laughs> the economy. Economy. Do you see that he's uh, from the beginning he was business uh, businessman. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeshua was not like this. Yes. He was the opposite of it. He was very poor. Yes. Roman, right? Yes. He was not even able to get a donkey for himself. He said, go there and borrow the donkey I want to use to come in the country, in the city. They went. As they were taking the donkey, he said, if the owner says, what are you doing with my donkey? He says, the master is, is in need of it. Borrow it. Yes. So, brother, don't envy people with it. Don't end. You will worship Satan without you realizing. Don't! Amen. And this kind of money they don't just give to anyone. Eh? Yes. A brother told me, he said, Brother, I, this man owed me. And he was telling me, I could have money. And I saw, he was telling me, I could see on his table three million which we brought. It was there, but he's telling me, I could have money. I could have person. I knew that that money was for something. He wrote to me a check. Not even to cash tomorrow. For one week. This is heartless. Mm -hmm. hey, this, I pray that this check stings. God uh, remove it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in need. I have uh, an emergency at home. Or in the hospital. I come for you to give me my money. You write a check. That I can cash only after one week. Who are you? If you are not a demon, I don't know who are you. Which kind of heart do you have? Which spirit dwells in you? This spirit. Because this man here, look at the people who are wealthy in the world. Yes. You can't take their 100 shillings. Huh? Yes. <laughs> so, the heart of human disappears. If he has to give you something of this one, the camera must be there. <laughs> Robert, right. I'm telling you the truth, not lying. Yes, yes. The camera must be there so that the, now when he gives uh, now Mr. Mr. Bosongo has been giving gift now to the young uh, to the of this school. Uh, uh, then when I come with the mic, I talk. Oh, what, what am I looking for? <laughs> <laughs> So, in the first part and the second part, we discover another part of Satan. He controls the economy. Have you ever heard about uh, these people who are called the Rothschild, Rockefellers? Have you ever heard about them? You've not heard? Those are the people who own money and they borrow 
money or they lend money to the government. Is that true? They control the world They give money. They can bring the whole, the whole trade industry in the world to the knees. What happened to Nagumat? Who can tell me what is behind that? What happened to Nagumat? The people who are running it took their money. Then I take my money, you die. Also, so you remember when the world went to a crisis a couple of years ago? I don't want to talk about these uh, things. Have you ever heard about uh, the new world order? You've heard about it, eh? They want to control the people of the planet, to control the, the, whole, the system of the world, the way we are doing things we want to change. And for you to change, you must put the world in the lock. As you are revisiting the system, then you release the people from the, the, the prison, from the lockdown. They come with new norms. Mm -hmm. It's not the old world that you have, you, you, have been, you have been used to. And for you to do this, when this was happening, the airport and staff were not working. Am I right? Yeah, nice. But let me tell you, many people were traveling at that time. The real Biashara was happening at that time. When we were all locked down. <laughs> One day when I'll get upset, I will speak about it. <laughs> yes, because these people are not only Hassan. Yes. Kabisa. Now, let's continue. You are great work to do it. That no time that you sing. Wait a minute. You became filled up with the violence within you. And you sinned. Yours says what? You were filled with violence and you sinned. Yours says what, bro? But they also put cruelty inside you. Wait a minute. I'm going to write these things. So that you see what is happening in this world. Yes. We put what? You, you say, your study was what? Mm. You are filled with violence. Violence. It's E or A? E. Violence. Your says what? The, it's just the same. The same. Yes. Who, whose Bible says different? That's the brother. In that not Tamoy. Tamoy. What else? It's the same thing, huh? Yeah. It's not what is happening in the world today. It's not. Let's put a finger here. Someone can go quickly. Let's go to Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. In Genesis chapter 6, Satan is in heaven or is already down? Yeah. Huh? Talk to me, brothers. He's on earth, huh? Yeah. But he was filled with what? Cruelty, violence, turmoil, right? Yes. Genesis chapter 6, someone can read verse uh, 11. Yes? Meanwhile, the crime rate was rising rapidly across... Crime rate! Was what? Rising rapidly across the earth. <laughs> we had a crime. Continue? Is that all? And, and as was seen by God, the world was brought into the court. Repeat the reading. Meanwhile, the crime rate was rising rapidly across the earth. Hey. And as seen by God, the world was brought into the court. The world was uh, rotten. rotten to the court. What is a court? <coughs> So, 
So they, there's nothing beyond that anymore. So yes. the climax. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Yours says what? When God looked at the earth, hey, hey, hey. he saw that the people had ruined it. What? 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 what, what, what ruined? Yes. Ruined. Continue. Violence was everywhere. Well, look here. Violence is found. Is that all? And, no? and yes. it had ruined their life on earth. Rule. Wait a minute. Yours says what? The earth was the earth also was corrupt. Uh, well, well, brother, those are very good things to, to, to mention. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Corrupt. Yes. The earth was also was corrupt before God, and the earth was. Wait a minute. The earth was corrupt before who? God. God. But not among the people. The people find it normal. Am I right? Yes. So their boyfriend girlfriend relationship is it a crime in Kenya? No. no. Homosexuality is it a crime? No. In the world today, it's accepted. Stealing. Lying. It's everyday life, isn't it? Yes. But in front of God, it's criminal. Amen. And the one who can do this can only be Lucifer. Amen. Every corner of the earth. So the moment you, you lie, in your business you lie, in your relationship you lie, you say something which is wrong, you, you corrupt your wit. You were at that time filled up with Lucifer. That is his business. Continue. Uh, I want to. Yours says what? The same thing. Correct. The same. Yours says what? Same right. thing. Yeah. Yours says what? Just the same. Violence. The earth was depraved. Depraved. Continue. The earth, was, the earth was depraved and putrid in God's sight, and the land was filled with violence, discretion, infringement, outrage, assault, and lust for power. But I see mom. Lust for power. Do you can you can we say that is wrong? <laughs> Last for <laughs> No, I don't want to talk about Kenya because now if I talk about Kenya, you'll be thinking many things. Last for power. Okay, so already you can see the description of uh, Ezekiel concerning Lucifer. You can already see it in Kenya. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. yes. Wait a minute. When I'm using violence, intimidation I want to ruin your life and now you want me to forgive you what do you think I will give to you as terms and conditions I repeat when I remove your freedom I put violence I put whatever your cruelty here when you have to deal with me Will you be in the power to withstand or to refuse or to reject or to do this? Satan uses this to submit the whole world unto him. What do you think the Catholic used against the Protestant? They used what? Violence. The killing. They used the cruelty. What happened to them? They ran away. Am I correct? Yes. These techniques of Satan will continue until the end of the world. You go to India today, 
we have a sister who is there. Start uh, going against their religion. Go to Mecca. Start preaching Jesus day. <laughs> they, do they give you freedom? You join us, you live in peace. <laughs> you get into the formula. Yes. I'm going slowly to idolatry. So that you understand how Satan succeeded to subdue the world under his power. He will dis distribute this worshipping of Satan to every country. And then every tribe and every clan, until the people of every clan will have their own gods. Wrong or right? right? Go to Mount Kenya. Go to Bondo. Do you think Mount Kenya and Bondo they have got the same God? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get to that later. Say amen. 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 <laughs> this study is very nice, huh? Satan wants to subdue the world. And he cannot come say, please, will you worship me? No! First of all, I kill your children. You become a slave. Automatically! Wrong or right? Okay. Remember the colonization time. We have watched the movies of the, the colonial powers. And the, when they say, oh, please, we have come here to take your gold. <laughs> Uh, give us because we consider you, we love you. They will not take you serious. Shoot, kill the remaining will submit. <laughs> Those are the characteristics of Lucifer on earth. He has to shake the world, make sure that he's, he made the whole world subdue through what violence, corruption. You can go, like you see, a lady who grows up is born in a family with the values, grows up. What destroys mostly our young girls? The society. Which is ruled by who? Lucifer. They tell you, oh, you are a virgin at this age. Hey, hey, look, this lady is right here. She's still a virgin. You go, oh, no, I want to she compromises. Who's behind that one? Don't call him Satan. Satan is a bit good. We are used to Lucifer. Everything that is appreciated by God is rejected by Satan. Everything that is rejected by God is appreciated and welcomed by Satan. <coughs> Don't forget that. Continue. So, Therefore, uh -huh. I cast you out of the mountain of God, like a common sinner. What? I destroyed you, mm. O oh, guardian angel. Eh? From the midst of the stones of Which earth. verse are you? 17. Verse? 17. 17. Okay. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. Oh, you corrupted your own wisdom. Hey, wait a minute. Does he still have the wisdom? Yes, but what is he doing with the wisdom? He corrupted the wisdom. Wait a minute. It means you change the, the, the wisdom or you add the things there that makes it become something else. When a man or a woman is, is, a, is a Christian doing the right thing, going to the, way, the ways of God, at what point do we say that he or she is corrupted now? I repeat, when a man or a woman is walking, following the ways of God, and doing the things right, at what point do we say, or can we say, he or she is corrupted, or corrupted his ways, or her ways? Yes? When he or she starts having a problem with the word of God. Yes, that's correct. Yes? 
when he hears the truth and he goes away. You are right. Also, when he's doing the right things. Someone said something here. When he's doing wrong things. When he starts doing the wrong things. Listen to me carefully. Did you hear that? Yes. You cannot see in his heart or in her heart. But what is in the heart is expressed through the works. And when you see the works, he or she is having or performing, you know what is inside, right? Yes. Right. Now Satan, when God was creating, he was coming with a seal. His works were very good. He was there doing these things. Wait a minute. Because the is so in his heart. We, we cannot see. But look at the works of Satan now. Can still can he still go to God? Yes, he can. Because he has that one. It's in him. You can't remove that one. But what happens with him? He has corrupted his uh, life, his ways. Instead of worshipping God, he's been worshipped. He wants not that honor. Instead of handling the business of God, he's doing now the economy of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Satan. Okay, because we talk about him, let Satan be cursed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. But we are going to unveil his plans. Say amen. amen. He's not happy. Eh? When I'm treating these things and you saying amen, he's very upset against that. I'm informing you. Uh, when you go home, be also in the truth. <laughs> uh, but don't fear. Do not fear. Amen. The one who is with us is greater than the one who is in the world. Amen. Little children, do not fear. Amen. 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 Let your faith respond. Amen. Continue. We are now reading verse uh, 17 eh? or 18. 18. You defiled your sanctuaries. Yes, brother, read. Therefore, I have cast you down to the ground mm. and expo exposed your helpless. Expo uh, therefore, I have cast you down to the ground mm -hmm. and exposed you helpless before the curious gaze of kings. Mm -hmm. You defiled your holiness with the last forgiveness. You defiled your holiness. Mine says, You defiled your sanctuaries. Continue. You defend your holiness with the last for gain. What, 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 what? Last for? Gain. 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 Yours says what, bro? You did many wrong things. Ah, 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 ah. Brother, yours says what? You have defined. No, Brother Patrick. You have profaned your sanctuary. Profane your sanctuary. Then you, yes, there, brother? Defined your yes. You the same uh, like me, yes? By your many sins and dishonest yes. strength, you have dis desecrated your sanctuaries. Do you see now that Satan has got sanctuaries? Yes. Brother, read it again. By your many sins and dishonest strength. Wait a minute. When you commit many sins, and I'm, I'm also talking to us. You commit so many sin. That's number one. Number two. And dishonest trade. Every trade you do with dishonesty. When you dishonest, someone who's dishonest cannot lack sin. It's impossible. To be dishonest and to have sins, they are twins. They come together. If it's to say amen. amen. Someone who is dishonest cannot lack sin. Is that true? Yes. Brothers, sisters, let no one be dishonest. Amen. Amen. Always, even if you're going to be rebuked, be honest. 
Amen. They will love you. But they discover you are dishonest. The trust is gone. Gone. You, even if you fast, you pray to get it back, it's a problem. It's like climbing a mountain that reaches up to the sky there. Running. You know how you can climb a mountain running? You just start by the moment you reach five meters. And they say, the moment you stop, you are disqualified. You must run. You start with three kilometers. Three kilometers must be constant. Will you, will you, will you be able? Repeat the reading. I, which Bible version is that? NIV. NIV. Ah, good. Yes. By many sins and dishonest trade, you have discredited your sanctuaries. You have uh, profaned your testimony. You have profaned your personality. You brought low the people's consideration. Because of what? Dishonesty and uh, sins. Not once, not twice. Many sins. That's the characteristic of Satan. And if you see this happening in your life, it means he has got a place in you. You do not say amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Let's scrutinize our life. My subject, uh, one of these days I'm going to teach, is your life worth the gospel? It's just a question, not a, a bullet. As you go home today, ask, answer that question. Is my life really worth the gospel? So I look at the Bible, I look at myself. You see, we are one. If it's true, then sing a little drink. Buy some Yamachoma and get something to drink. Drink because your life is worth the gospel. But if it's not, kneel down. Go to the Calvary. The blood is still there to cleanse us. Amen. Yes, continue. So I meant a fire camp. Wait a minute. Let me read again verse 17. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. Do you know when a woman knows she's beautiful? It's exactly this they do. <laughs> South Africa. I remember, never mind. <laughs> so a lady was beautiful, was telling a man. So she says, so they compare men in Johannesburg. Those who want to come to get me, you also, you are in the list, you. <laughs> so you say, me, me what? <laughs> No comment. Yes, now verse 18. You defile your sanctuaries by the multiple of your iniquities and by iniquity of your tradings. Can you see that the tradings and the economy of Satan is not straight, eh? Yes. He's doing purposely with circumventing, stealing, wrong calculation, wrong reports. Brother, don't be involved in like that. False invoices. We say, no, my friend, we are going to buy these things here. Huh, Brother Daniel, it's cost 10,000. Who's 20,000? Who's 20,000? And who's doing it? Brother Daniel also takes the pen on the invoice. 20,000. You sign. Don't forget that the question that was asked to Anania can be asked to you. Is this the price of what you did? They tell you here, no. Tell him there, it's uh, 10,000. You take 10,000. But when you write on the report, you make 25,000. That is the character of Lucifer. Amen. Amen. Iniquity in your trade. 
like we saw in the Congo there, they bring the gold eh, from the chamber or from wherever they it's 20 kilos. They write on the paper 5 kilos. They steal 15 kilos. Do you want to get involved in such things? For a believer, let me tell you, it will backfire. Because God will be there to confuse you as your his son or daughter. He has to expose you. Amen. Put the finger here. Let's put the finger here. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17, I think, if I'm not wrong. Ephesians chapter 5. No, verse 11. Brother, I would like to read in your verse there. Yes. Read verse 11. It says what? Take no part in the worthless pleasures of evil and darkness. Wait a minute. Say amen. amen. No, no, I'm not hearing you. Amen. Repeat. Take no part. Amen. amen. Say amen. 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 No, it must not be part of you. Even if the people come, they involve you, they push you to do something wrong, do not partake. Amen. amen. Repeat again. Take no part in the worthless pleasures of evil and darkness. Ah, 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 ah. Instead, continue. But instead, rebuke and expose them. Rebuke and expose, expose them. Mm -hmm. Brother, your says one. Have no part in the things that people in darkness do. Say amen. 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 These are the things people in the light do. In the darkness. I'm asking you. These are the things that people do in the light. So you are doing business. Why are you darkening the business? If you want to be paid, say, me, I can charge this. For this or what do you? Yeah, this is clear. My ear, this is clear. No! You come with false information. And you call yourself a Christian. <laughs> Let idolatry, Lucifer, and his people be cursed in Jesus' name. Amen. We, we are not the people of darkness. To live in darkness. Say amen. Amen. Continue. Which produce nothing good. I... Instead, tell everyone how wrong those things are. Amen. 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 Tell, testify the, how bad those things are. Don't just come out of them. Start now teaching. Brother, sister, don't do this because I was here. This is what happened. Eh? Brothers, some of the things we are paying today, some of the things we are paying today are linked to that former kind of life if we are not honest. Satan, he knows the principle. He knows that you will reap what you, so. he will make you so bad things because he wants to kill you. Not even directly because the life of people depends on God. Only God has got the power on human life. Wrong or right? Yes. Even if you are evil, he does not want you to die. You will not die no matter what Satan can do. Even if when you are bad. Wrong or right? Right. The Bible says, is there anything that can happen in this world unless God agrees on it? Nothing can happen in this world unless it's Elohim's decision. Amen. 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 The good and the bad, the wrong and the right are all in the powers of the control from God. Amen. So you cannot come and say, oh no, brother, sister... Um, where did you go wrong? The Bible says, remember. Remember therefore where you have uh, fallen. Remember. Because I know you cannot lie. Expose everything that is wrong. A man comes to you at night. Shout. The Bible says, if you don't shout, 
you have accepted it. If it happens in the city. Say amen. Amen. Do not partake in the worth. But I repeat, your Bible version is very nice. Have no part in the things that people do in darkness. In darkness. Continue. Which produce nothing good. <laughs> Instead, tell everyone. Yes. How wrong those things are. Amen. 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 Yours says what? Same thing? Have nothing to do with the goodness deeds of darkness. Hey, can you see that darkness has got the things? Huh? Answer me, brother. Yes. Do you see that darkness as, as is holding things? Huh? Yes. And you don't partake in those things of the darkness. Um, you come and say, my friend. Brother Daniel, you are not my friend. To we are not going anywhere. Now you, you say, what, 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 what can we do? The moment it comes, what can we do now? Close the door, go. Wait a minute. Do you know why they silence witnesses? Um, um, it's just a question. It's, it's not decisive. Why do you think they silence people? Who know? Huh? No, the answer is in the writing here. They don't like to be exposed. And the Bible says we should expose. Can you see that not exposing something you know? Is satanic? Yes. Satan will hinder you if you an akupa sickness so that you don't go to church to confess. You wake up and on a Sunday morning, you want to come, you feel like we are not wake at you say, oh, wendile, oh, you can't expose me. You wake up, you fall down, boom. Like the Muslim lady we had here. Every Sunday morning she's sick. She would tell me, I was well. The whole Saturday. In the morning, the leg became big. When I decide not to go, the leg goes down. <laughs> Expose them. Amen. 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 Brother, I'm saying this, I'm doing this with you. You can see it with all my heart. I want you to get this. And I'm putting my whole Amen. for you to get this. Amen. So don't neglect this. Amen. You want to be a better person tomorrow? Follow these instructions. The way Paul said to Timothy, you, you know my instructions. And you've been following my kind of doctrine. Amen. Amen. You follow even my life example. Amen. You have a pastor. Follow his ways. Amen. 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 Expose them. But here, look at Satan. Let's go back there. Who was reading? Ezekiel. Yes. You defiled, verse 18, your sanctuary, despite the multiple of your, 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 your iniquities. What is iniquity? Iniquity is sin. But not just any sin. It's a sin you know it's sin. You are aware it's sin. You know it's bad. But you choose to do it anyway. What is iniquity? It's a willing sin. You do it purposely. How do you say it in Swahili? It's not that you, it was an accident. No. A mistake is an accident. Robert, a mistake is an accident. Alright? Is cheating an accident? Cheating. You are cheating. The brother, <laughs> then he's laughing. Is cheating a, a, an accident? <laughs> Lying. When you are lying. Yeah, uh, you lie. Uh, uh, you lie. Uh, you, uh, you lie. Are you going to tell me it's an accident? No. 
brother, I will even say these are iniquities. You are doing them intentionally. Amen. Amen. Then now when they get you, they, 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 you got caught. Oh, forgive me, I did not know. What? You did what? <laughs> you see the man, they caught him with another woman, then somebody said, I did not know, brother, forgive me. I feel sometimes cold coming. You see. What? I did not know. So you did not know. Instead of being honest, you continue lying in your repentance. <laughs> Let Satan be cursed in Jesus' name. Amen. It must stop influencing us. Amen. Even when you go to God, you still lie in your confession. Where are you going? Wait, where are you going? Satan. Brother, you know when you see brothers and sisters doing the right thing, you feel like But when you see them doing the opposite of what, you see the way I'm teaching here, sacrificing here, but you, you choose to do the wrong way. Honestly, even if we, we love people, what can we say here? What can we do here? And why are you a Christian? Why are you following Christ? Let's finish in this part. He says, you defiled your sanctuary. The way brothers and sisters here, you can defile your body. You can defile your soul. You can defile your spirit by every time sinning. Amen. 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 Every time. But we are describing Satan here. Continue. Multiple iniquities and the iniquity of your trading. Therefore, I brought fire from your midst. It devoured you and turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you. This will happen. Because when the millennial reign will finish, Satan will be released. And after Satan is released, he will lead the world to the Gog and Magog conflict. And when that one is done, then we are going to go to what we call the final and the last judgment. At the white throne of God, some will be on the left hand side, some will be on the right hand side. Yeshua and the bride will be sitting on the throne. We will judge the world. Amen. Amen. After the condemnation of everyone in the left hand side, together with the Satan, this scripture here, will be fulfilled. Amen. Um, it will be at that time where hell will be open. As for now, it's not open yet. Um, Amen. It's not active yet. Amen. Amen. Then what we see here, the Bible says, it will be unto ashes. What produces ash? Water or fire? Fire. fire. Thank you. That's why the fire is going to burn the world very soon. We finish. Verse 19. All who knew you among the people are astonished at you. Huh? Let's read in Bible versions what we read here. You start. Yes, verse 19. All the nations who knew you hey. are appealed at you. Yes. You have come to a horrible end <laughs> and you will be no more. <laughs> Wait a minute. Huh? <laughs> The boss, yes. the one who's shaking the nations, yes. even the Illuminati say, Satan, oh, you, you, are, you, we thought the Illuminati would be saying, but Satan, we, we thought you were the boss. So, come beyond you, there was another boss. <laughs> you did not want us to go there. So, you and us, we are destroyed. You see the boss in the fire with you. Amazed. Why? Who can tell me why do you think these people of the nations are amazed, surprised? 
Yes. Because the God is the most high. He was God. The people were worshipping him thinking he is God. Now they are surprised God is burning with us. Say amen. Yeah, amen. Now the final scripture. You have seen now Satan's characteristics? Yes. Now check. He will succeed one thing at this end time. Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12. Whoa. There's a lot to know. Huh? But before we go there, let's take 2 Corinthians first of all. 2 Corinthians. Wait a minute. Look at me. Let me ask you a question here. What do you think offends Satan? What do you think offends Satan? Sorry? Now or before. Anytime. Someone say something. Everybody say amen. Amen. When you have the truth, you know the truth. You believe the truth. You stand in the truth. Satan to you becomes powerless. Amen. Amen. You become a rebuke to him. Amen. Those ones they say, Oh, you ah, we can't touch it. You ask why? Ah. <laughs> why? The truth. truth. Today, where do we find the truth? Am I correct? Yes. The truth is written here. Then if this book offends Satan, what do you do? What do you think Satan will do? He will attack it. And how do you think Satan attacked the Bible? Huh? Bringing lies. By adding. Ah! Let's clap, man. <laughs> Satan will not leave it perfect the way it is. He must cut, he removes, or he acts. Say amen. amen. For you to worship Satan nowadays, you cannot worship Satan in the truth. He must interfere with the Bible. Amen. Because that truth offends him. Second Corinthians chapter 3. Are we together? Yes. <laughs> Brother, I, I want to say speak in tongues, Kapisa. Amen. Hallelujah means uh, let Yahweh be glorified or praised. Amen. That is already speaking. Amen. See, Ashabara will listen to the Someone read verse 17. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 17. The Lord is the Spirit. 2 17. Certainly. Not those who are out there selling God's message for for copy. Um, they are doing what? They are selling God's word. Wait a minute. Look at me here. What is the merchandise? What is the merchandise in this context? The word. The word. Wait a minute. Among the words that the people are selling in the world here today, do you know that they choose what they have to sell? Yes. There are scriptures in this Bible that you will not hear in the ringtone. <laughs> there are scriptures here in this Bible that the churches will never touch. Yes. Exactly. There are scriptures in this book here that people will never consider. Now they go and choose where the Bible says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. <laughs> they go and they look for a place where it says, I've got the project for you, the, the, no, uh, for prosperity, not for. Ah, we are going to heaven. Ah. 
before you were born. Yes! <laughs> now, get the ringtone that says. <laughs> If a man takes a second wife, that's what even a ringtone is not good. <laughs> a woman must keep quiet in the church. That's what I tell Peter. They can't sell that. Anyone who marries a divorced woman, ah, ah, no, no, no. why, why do you do What are you doing? So, Satan chooses what he wants to choose because those ones don't attack him. Yes. Eri, we are in there. you know, the beard, what do they call it? What one? Matthew chapter 5. Yes. Eri, this one. Eri, but the same way you put Eri day. Right also, put also. Revelation, <laughs> Revelation chapter 2. And Satan was uh, sitting in his throne in Pergamos. Why is that? It cannot be a, a ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Who was reading? Let's read again. Yes. Certainly. Yes. Not those who are out there selling God's message for a prophet. Yes. But we don't do that. But we, 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 the apostles, we, the early church, we don't do that. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 Uh -huh. With Christ's help, Say. we speak God's truth honestly. Wait a minute. Say amen. amen. Do you see that what they are selling, they are selling, they, they are doing, they is not honest? Yes. But they will tell you, we have a big church instrument. When the choir sings, you think they are angels. See, angels. Mm. Don't be saying just because the church is singing very well. No. Man, no. Yeah. Amen. 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 When they stand with the word, Apple says, I can worship. Amen. When they stand with, but Satan cannot stand in the truth. Amen. Say amen. 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 That's the one, number two. Let's take now chapter 4. From verse 1. We go up to verse uh, 4. Yes. You, you can take, you can read. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry. Yes. We do not lose heart. Say amen. 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 Even us also here in Nairobi, we don't lose heart. Amen. Uh -huh. Rather, we have renounced uh, secret and shameful ways. Say amen. 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 It means we have confessed. Amen. We, we Everybody say amen. amen. If you have not renounced, renounce today. Amen. amen. Renounce everything of darkness. Renounce. It will not give you any profit. You are not going anywhere. It will kill you. Amen. And I'm saying it in Yeshua's name. Amen. Renounce. Paul says, we have renounced. Amen. 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 If you have not renounced it, you have not started. Amen. Amen. Continue. We do not use deception. Ah, 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 wait, wait. Can you see that Paul knew that there are people who are using deception? Yes. Who uses deception? Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Woman, what happened? The serpent. The preacher called serpent. The man of God called serpent. Christ called the serpent. Because many false Christ, they are Christ, but false. The serpent was Christ, but a false Christ. He was also a prophet, but a false prophet. Because he preached, and what he preached came to pass. Amen. Amen. Always. Now, Paul knowing that there were 
preaches. Can you see that? here at this time that Satan is already having preachers? Yeah. Okay? Yes. Continue. We do not use deception, nor do we distort the word of God. Mm, wait a minute. No. What? Distort. It comes this way. You twist. When you twist the word of God, is still the word of God? That is why now. Look here, look here, I'm closing. Everywhere the word of God is twisted, you lose God. You invite Satan. Why do you think there was a, a conference in the Bible in Acts chapter 15? In Act 15, the Bible says there were people saying that we have to tell the people to circumcise. Others, they say we don't circumcise. The debate was there. Then they say, no, no. Let's go to Jerusalem. You remember the story now? Yes. Okay. Who can tell me why? Why that dissension? Yes. To fight a false doctrine. Amen. 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 Brother, when you see a false doctrine coming in the church, if you don't stand against it, spiritually, you are dead. That's why everybody, the brothers and the sisters, we are all overseeing which kind of word of God you are preaching to us. Amen. If I cannot get it from the scripture, now from where you are the Panya, outside, even if you sweat to preach me that thing, to pay in jail. Every false doctrine, every false interpretation is Satan. Now, I'm going to show you that Satan. Continue reading. On the contrary, by, uh -huh. by setting forth the truth plainly, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience yes. in the sight of God. Continue. And even if our gospel is uh, failed. If when we preach the gospel, and this gospel here to Brother Derek is failed. It means Brother Derek does not understand the way we preach and stand for this truth here. Continue. It is, it is that way to those who for those to who are going to hell. Amen. Amen. Brother, monitor. Monitor. That's what I'm telling you. After hearing the Sunday teaching. And I don't know if brothers spoke about that one. But it's silence until now. And I'm wondering which kind of brothers and sisters we can have who cannot monitor. This is wrong and you keep quiet. What are we overseeing? What are you standing for? I'm not happy at all. I am not. allow Satan to come and spray the truth you have been standing for. That's not correct. When I speak to your shame. Continue reading. The God of this age has blinded the The God of... Do you see here that even Paul acknowledged that Satan... Finally, has reached to become like the Messiah God. He calls him here the God of this age. What does he do? As he blinds. He does not want you to see. He comes against the truth. He comes there. That's why, bro, until I die, I will stand for this truth. 
Amen. Even if, as Brother Branham says in the marriage and divorce, I should remain alone, so be it. Amen. For the truth. We are not here to do all friends. I couldn't have friendship when it comes to the truth. It's either the truth or nothing. Back to things and go. Amen. Let me, I can stay alone. Amen. 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 May I bless you. Amen. Amen.